In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use our Bulk Order Fulfillment System, or BOF for short. The Bulk Order Fulfillment System is especially useful if you're thinking of doing a crowdfunding campaign. When using this system, the Game Crafter takes all the hassle out of mailing out all the games to your customers ordered through your crowdfunding campaign. You will simply upload a spreadsheet of how many copies to send to which addresses, and the Game Crafter will produce the games and ship them out to all locations for you. In addition, the Game Crafter will even print your perks and rewards and ship those with the orders that require them. I am also going to show you how to create and upload a test bulk order fulfillment spreadsheet using addresses from out the U.S. and internationally, so you can see the cost to ship your orders across the U.S. and around the globe. This information can be used to help you know what to charge backers to ship to the location. Before you can get an estimate of the cost to ship your game to backers, you first need to have created the games you want to use in the system and purchased a copy of each game you want to include. That way, the system knows the size and weight of the games in order to calculate the shipping correctly. You will not be able to use the bulk order fulfillment system unless you've created and purchased your game. To start the process of estimating the cost to send our game across the globe, we will first need to download the order's CSV file. To do that, we'll go to the Make Games menu, then to My Games. There you'll see the option to create a custom game and Bulk Order Fulfillment. When you click on Bulk Order Fulfillment, you'll be taken to a screen where you can load the file once you are finished with it, and a section to view Bulk Order Fulfillments you have already submitted. Below those sections is where you'll download the base CSV files you will use. The based orders CSV file is already loaded with the address to use when testing the cost of shipping a game. You will want to download all three files to help you fill out your orders CSV file when you make your final file. I'm going to click on orders.csv and it will automatically download. I will then open this in Excel. When you open the orders CSV file, you will see a list of addresses. One thing to note is that due to the leading zeros in several zip codes, you will need to format the postal code column to include those. To do so, I'm going to click on the postal code column letter G to select the entire column. Right click and go to Format Cells. I will then go to Special and select Zip Code. You can also select Custom or Number Formats and to add the leading zeros by entering in five zeros then hit OK. For estimating the shipping, we will leave the addresses as is. If you are entering addresses for your order, you will need to delete all the addresses before entering the addresses for your backers. At the end of the address columns, you will see a column titled for each game you have created on your account. If you are creating a bulk order fulfillment that has rewards for certain backers, you will want to create a separate game for each of those items. Keep in mind that you have to have purchased at least one copy of each of the rewards you create. You will then want to remove all the columns of the games you don't intend to send to backers. Leave only the games you want to send to backers. For this one, I only want replacement. So I am going to delete all of these columns. When filling out the game columns, enter one or more for the quantity of that game going to that backer. If a backer is not getting a certain game in the list, put a zero for that column. Each address entered will need to show at least one game going to that address. I'm going to change all of the placements in this to one for testing the shipping. After you've filled out all the columns for your orders, you'll want to save the file with a new name. Often, it is a good plan to name it after the main game in the bulk order fulfillment. File, save as, replacement, save. Then, you'll go back to the site to make games, then to my games, then to bulk order fulfillment. There, you will name the bulk order fulfillment in our system. Again, it is a good plan to name it after the main game in the bulk order fulfillment. Then load the file you've created and hit create. You'll see confirmation in the top right hand corner. 
What will happen next is the request for the bulk order fulfillment is sent to be approved by an administrator on the site. They will check the current stock of parts against your order to make sure there is enough stock in the system to complete the order. They will also look at the files in the game, and if they feel there are design issues, they will contact you about it. If the order is approved or denied, you will get an email notifying you along with a link to your bulk order fulfillment. Here is an image of a test email that you will receive. Once you click on the link in the email, you will be taken to this page. At this point, the order is approved but not paid for. You can view individual orders and see the cost to ship each to the location and the total cost of the order. When using bulk order fulfillment, the Game Crafter will ship the orders using the cheapest shipping option available to that address. If you are making a real order, you can then pay for the order and complete the process. If you are just testing for pricing purposes, you can leave the order as it is or cancel it when you have your information. You will get discounts based on multiple copies of the same game that are in the same bulk order fulfillment. This includes rewards and additional different games. So if your bulk order fulfillment has 100 copies total of the main game and 50 total copies of a reward going to customers, you would get the 100 bulk price on the main game and the 50 bulk price on the additional reward game that is added. All discounts are added on the total number of copies of each game you add to your BOF. And that is how you upload a bulk order fulfillment sheet to order multiple games in a single order that are shipped to multiple addresses, and how you can use the system to see the cost to ship your game across the USA and around the world.